So ECM analytics or content analytics can discern information from um, multiple types of information, whether it's uh, paper capture, including OCR, uh, file systems, email, other health data, even structured data. And then um, applying to that uh, what we call um, natural language processing. So annotators, uh, which could discern uh, words and parts of speech analysis to more medical or industry oriented annotators that might be aware of uh, procedures, uh, treatments, or other uh, medical uh, terminology. And by applying those annotators to this unstructured information, you can glean insight out of that. For, so for instance, um, information that you might typically find in a nurse's note like um, patient cut down from uh, uh, to two packs a day uh, might you know, glean or discern information about smoking data, uh, which often is either not recorded at all or might be misrecorded. In fact, at, uh, at Seton, uh, a manual audit showed that about 35% um, of the time this information is available in structured systems and even that small amount of time when it is available it was only accurate about 65% of the time. So by using text analytics or content analytics on this unstructured information uh, it improves the insight and, and better understanding. ECM and Watson do have uh, common technology in the context of uh, lexical analysis or, or natural language processing, where uh, Watson might be reading publications and research and massive amounts of data uh, for best question answering capability. Uh, content analytics in the context of a solution like our uh, predictive and content analytics for healthcare solution would use that to uh, create a longitudinal view of uh, patient history. Uh, so for instance, to either identify uh, underserved patients or, or patients that might be uh, high risk. So ECM can be used to reduce cost of care, but it's not just about cost. It's also about uh, patient quality. So for instance, ECM might be useful in pr helping predict uh, a long uh, patient care uh, situation uh, early on so that you don't get uh, set up in a critical care scenario where you might be there for a long time. Uh, could also be used to identify patients who are using emergency care services rather than primary care, sometimes for uh, non-clinical reasons, like they lack uh, transportation to the hospital. Uh, or it could be useful in also identifying patients that have uh, social or emotional or psychological issues that are affecting their ability to stay on their uh, treatment care patterns. Um, so you know, while it can be very effective in reducing cost, it, you know, it could also be quite effective in improving overall quality of care. So while we've been using this technology largely with uh, uh, large-scale providers, uh, it can also be used in, in smaller settings. For instance, we're working on some very exciting partnerships today with uh, healthcare payers uh, who can help deliver analytics to the point of care uh, regardless of uh, size of a provider. Uh, ECM analytics, or in the context of healthcare, our IBM content and predictive analytics solution actually combines predictive analytics with uh, unstructured or content analytics to improve insight. So for instance, by using content analytics to uncover often the hidden data in patient records and other information, we can improve the predictive capability of uh, the insight provided by the information. We found even using manual auditing that uh, our solution's been able to glean you know, hidden information. And in predictive analytics, always having more information is gonna improve the prediction.
there, there's always in, in interest in more structured information. There's always interest in more uh, high quality information. In the healthcare provider world, most of the healthcare providers we've worked with have told us that uh, free flowing text is the sort of lingua franca of um, their business. In fact, uh, faxes as well. Uh, so, you know, we also see that many of these providers and payers have multiple systems, and even healthcare standards like HL7 are often viewed as 80% uh, standards because there's still a lot of uh, variability in the information served. Um, all this points to the value of content management and the value of being able to capture, to store, analyze, and put into action unstructured information in the uh, business of providing better healthcare.